Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Alliance Gaming. Butters is pissed. I've had her in my lap for three minutes to show you Butters, but then we had some, some technical issues, and she's mad. <laughs> oh, whoa. You see that jump she just did? Yeah. Telling you she's upset. Anyways, hi, guys. It's been such a long time since I've been in front of the camera. Um, I actually haven't had a video up in the last uh, couple weeks. Uh, I would say sorry about that, which if you guys look forward to my content, then or our content, I am. But I've been working working on some things. We had a bit of physical and me medical stuff I needed to take care of and I kind of needed a mental douching would be the best way to put it. <laughs> so I pretty much went down to CVS, picked up a big bucket of douche and poured it on my head and voila! Now I'm feeling a whole lot fucking better. So I want to talk about some of my favorite video game songs. Now it's probably, I'm trying to figure out which way to do it, but I'm gonna have several different lists. Um, the list that I'm doing today is going to be my top six, or me and AJ's top six um, most beautiful songs in video games. These are songs that have moved me throughout my life. Well, one thing I'll say about a video game it, that I love is the music. The music makes a huge difference to me and it's something that I feel personally it makes up a game. If a good music can really accelerate even an average game to way beyond that. So right now we're gonna go ahead and do our top six because why not? Everyone does top fives and top tens. Or next time I'll do seven and three quarters. But right now it's our my me and AJ. Excuse me. Top six most beautiful songs in video games. So I will cut to it, let you listen to a little bit of the music, and I will put a link below so you can click on it and see them on YouTube. I'm going to put some work into this for you guys. So first things first, I'm not going to pull out every game for this. Uh, there's not really a point, but I am going to pull it out for one of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go down the list, and we're going to start out at start from the bottom. number six. Now, we're going to go into the Final Fantasy XIII series. Um, it's been hated on a lot, but it has some beautiful music and beautiful games. XIII is decent, but XIII 2 and Lightning Returns uh, accelerate to fantastic and make up for every flaw that the first one had. And the first song that I want to go ahead, and this came actually from uh, AJ, you may know her as Etno, um, and it is called Humanity's Tale from Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns. <laughs> So if you heard that song, um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I love it. Uh, AJ slash Edno actually loves it even more probably. But it's a really it's really beautiful music. Um, if you guys uh, haven't experienced Final Fantasy XIII, go into the series and look. And especially Lightning Returns, it has some of the best music ever. It's very emotional and. Um, I don't even know how to explain it. That is, it, I got to do a video on that game, game one day. It is one of the most overlooked, underrated Final Fantasy games ever made. Lightning Returns is fucking phenomenal, and I am so happy it got made. Anyways, moving on, my friends. We're going to go on to a series that I fucking adore, that I love more than life itself almost, and that is Lunar. The Lunar series. We have Lunar Silver Star Story. And Lunar Eternal Blue originally came out for the Sega CD and definitely uh, shining gems on my top five on the system. In fact, Lunar goes in number one for me. Um, also came out on PS1, which was a redone and it's a um, redone soundtrack, uh, redone graphics, everything, and it's beautiful. But the ones that um, I'm looking at are 
uh, mixed between a Silver Star and between the uh, remake that they did of it. Um, so a song that I'm going to go ahead and pick for that is called Wind's Nocturne. Now let me go ahead and play that. Will their dreams fade to nothing when the horizon darkens most? We So if you heard that song, that song gives you a general feeling of how the game works. Now some people might find it corny, but I think it is absolutely beautiful. The Lunar Games themselves are beautiful. They're funny. They're traumatic. They're exciting. They have so many pop culture references. It's not even. It's it's hilarious actually. Um, two of my favorite RPGs of all time. There's a lot more music in it that's amazing. And then later on, I'll do a list for like battle songs and stuff like that. But you should definitely check it out. Going ahead and moving forward, I want to talk about the next game, which is Ni no Kuni. Yes, Ni no Kuni came out for the PS3 quite a few years back, and oh my god, what a surprise, guys. I got this game, and I knew it was a Studio Ghibli game, and um, did I say Ghibli or Ghibli? Let's say Studio Ghibli. Let's say Ghibli. Let's just say Studio Ghibli. Um, Ni no Kuni 2 is coming out soon, and I hope it's as good as the first one. Beautiful, amazing RPG, one of my top for this generation. Um, yeah, if you guys haven't played it, play it. And there is a beautiful song in it, and it is called Pieces of Broken Heart, Nino Kuni. Let's go ahead and switch to that so you can hear that right now. <laughs> Alrighty, so if you heard that song, my god, it is beautiful. I know some people think it's uh, corny, but I love it. Now, there's two different versions of it. There's a version where a child is singing it, which I really love, and there's one when an adult singing it, which I also I think might be my favorite pick. It used to be the child singing and the innocence of the song, but I really, really um, enjoy the adult version of this song. Um, if you listen to that song it gives you a feel of the emotions and the characters that you can feel in the game and that's another thing about music is music makes is a character of its own in a video game it doesn't matter whether it's a horror game or whatever it happens to be music can really push any art forward to beyond what it was initially if you took all the music out of a game you would be missing a lot of stuff so Nino Kuni beautiful soundtrack Alrighty, going ahead and moving on. Now, this game is a game I never played as a child. Um, my girlfriend, Etno, and her brothers, Mitchell and Mason, used to play this game and still do till this day called Legend of Lagaya. And they were trying to get Best me game. to play this damn game for years, but I'm, I didn't want to play it right away. I just I wasn't in that zone at the time, but I finally broke down and said, okay, I'm going to play this fucking game, and I did. 
and I loved it, and it was amazing, and I didn't die one fucking time in that game. I know this is about music, but I'm proud of that. I, I it's died. because you didn't stop grinding, ever. I didn't stop grinding, ever. I hate grinding. I grinded so much that I didn't die one time in the entire adventure, and I'm fucking proud of it. So, that being said, the composer of the game for Lagaya made a lot of games beforehand, and he made one called Alundra, which was on the PS1, and they and Alundra and Lagaya actually share a particular song. Not this one. Not this one, but on there that is also beautiful. Um, which is, you think it's weird they're using the same song in two games, but you know a lot of people who played one or the other didn't play both, and I think it worked in both the cases. But I get to go all the way through that game, and I really want to. The uh, song that we're picking uh, today, which is coming from AJ, just like Final Fantasy XIII, is called Juno's Funeral. <laughs> So what did you guys think of that song? It is a little bit different than what you've been hearing so far, which has been a little bit more emotional, a lot of the music, but it is more emotional just on a uh, on a deeper level. It's kind of hard for me to uh, put it in place, but I think that her pick uh, right there is absolutely uh, beautiful. Now on this list, I was trying to do which one's my favorite, one through six. This isn't really an exact science. I'm not saying this is my number two and this is my number four, except for my number one song. Um, uh, actually, my my top two I consider number one and two, and the other ones are going to be a mixed bag. Okay, so moving on, I want to talk about another game. Now, the, the song from this game, it's Final Fantasy X-2. It was the first sequel to ever come out for Final Fantasy, and boy, did it get a lot of shit. Nobody likes it. Look it up. There's some people that love it, but everyone's like, this is bullshit. And I think what it was, as the game was ahead of its time, the game is really fun it's open-ended you can finish it whenever you want to early or later and it's really great but everybody was like okay this is girls from wild for video game but regardless of whether you like it i love it and by the way when people give you tell you the sh ending shit it is not if you get the good ending it is a beautiful ending for both yuna and titus so i was c trying to pick a song from final fantasy 10 or 10-2, and it was kind of hard to do, but 10-2 ended up winning. And the one thing everybody agrees with is the song called Memories of Light Waves, Final Fantasy 10-2. Before I switch to this song, I, actually, do you know what? Let's just go ahead and get the <laughs> song and you guys uh, might want to go back and you know play it all the way through but this song actually kind of changed my life it is that freaking beautiful I remember me and my brother 
got Final Fantasy X-2 and when we turned it on, even after we played through the game, we would literally sit there on a couch and play this song over and over and over and over again. It is so fucking beautiful and it's even more beautiful if you play the original Final Fantasy X because you know what happens. Spoiler alert if you haven't played Final Fantasy X in 3, 2, 1. Titus ends up being a dream of the faith and disappearing. So we were wondering what's going to happen in 10 2. And by the way, in 10 2 is not just an imposter. It depends on how much you want to work on the damn game. Anyways, that being said, when the opening started, you had these waves of pictures that were going by and were showing these images. And when it got to the height of the song, which you probably heard right at the end, um, that's when it showed Titus. Like, he looked like he was frozen in stone. And all I could think about was Titus and Yuna's love story. And my God, that game and that song, it's just so, so beautiful. I used that song this last 10 days to go to sleep to with earbuds. And it really helped relax me and get rid of any anxiety I felt. It is just the most beautiful, brilliant song, and I love it. I After listening to that song, I self-taught myself in, in a night to play the entire thing on piano, and I would play it for you guys right now, but unfortunately I don't have a piano anymore, and I'm trying to get a keyboard, and you can look forward to that in the future on the channel, because I will be playing a ton of songs. It's a side that you guys haven't seen of me, and a lot of people haven't, except for maybe just uh, AJ. Um, and that's about it, and I can't wait to share that with you. But yeah, Memories of Light Waves, man. The um, most beautiful, brilliant song I've uh, I've ever heard. And my God, I, I could not praise this song enough, guys. Please listen to the whole thing below. Now, going forward, I want to go to my number one pick. My number one pick is for a game that I thought I was never going to be able to get. And I ended up getting this game at a really great deal. Not like the great deal I got on like Albert Odyssey and Dragon Force and um, Shining Wisdom where I got those for five bucks. Yeah, that's another story in the future. A drifter going through town. But um, I got it for an amazing price because I knew the game was going to go up. And it did. Six months later, it was 300 then 400 and now it's 500 and something dollars. And I'm going to actually pull this one out because I'm so proud of it and I love it so much. And this game that I'm talking about today is Panzer Dragoon Saga. Now, there's a lot of rare games out there that you guys can buy and they're good. I mean, uh, there's Chaos Flying Squadron on the Sega CD, but is it worth paying $900 for it? In my opinion, fuck no. This game had the unfortunate situation of Sega canceling their... Um, Saturn and this game didn't get put out in the masses and they lost the source code cord and it never got uh, ported to anything This game is one of the best RPGs I've played of my entire life. I love it that much It is my number one pick. I love love this freaking game. It is not overrated in any way possible It is a brilliant beautiful game that I hope one day Everybody in the future could experience because if this would have came out to the masses and Saturn would have been doing better, or if this was on PS1 or something, this would be straight up against Final Fantasy VII, and in my opinion, it would knock the shit out of it. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion, but that's how I feel. Going forward, uh, with this wonderful game that I got so many years back, there is a song on this. I believe it plays, um, it plays at the ending of the game, after this huge, epic fight, and I don't want to give anything away, but uh, this beautiful fight and you know there's dragons and everything going on and baby can you pronounce it? I don't have it with me at the moment. Okay so you can hand it to me. I will uh, it, it, uh, Sona me A-R-E-R-U -E <laughs> Yeah so uh, Sona me I don't know I can't say it properly I will have it posted Sona below. Me, yeah there we go yeah you got it yeah yeah I, she got it. Something like that. Yeah, that is what it is, right? Yeah. If I, I have the paper on. I know it seems ridiculous because I, I say how much I love this song. It's my number one pick, but God, I just can't pronounce it. Um, this I song. Do. I cannot pronounce it. I cannot <laughs> pronounce it. Um, this song, my God, when I got to the end of this game and I finally beat it and this music played, I fucking cried. It is beautiful, it is tribal, it is inspiring, it is moving in every possible way, and this song should be listened to by everyone, and it is definitely deserving of being on the soundtrack of the most beautiful epic RPG I've ever played in my life, Panzer Dragoon Saga. Here it is. So
Alrighty guys, so yeah, what did you think of that song? Um, I think it is amazing and music nowadays on games is still amazing. There are so many great things like I mentioned on Nino Kuni and so many more. I have more lists. I have another beautiful list I'm going to be doing. I have a list of my favorite uh, dramatic creepy music. There's so much to go into with music with video games, but music with video games or movies or anything is a fucking art and it's therapeutic and I think that more time and money goes into video game music than anything in the world and it is just fucking breathtaking so yes that was my number one pick Panzer <coughs> Dragoon Saga and that song will move me for the rest of my life anyways guys so what did you think of my list did you agree did you disagree am I an asshole do you want to punch me do you need my address so you can rob me are you going to slit my throat in I'm sorry, I'm kidding. I was getting dramatic there for a minute. How you doing? Okay. What? AJ's looking at me funny. What'd I do? You need a nap. I do need a nap. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me know what you think below. Or do you know what? Even better, if you're actually watching this video, um, tell me your favorite song, anything, uh, Chrono Cross, something that you guys like and post it below. I really want to know what it is, and I would love to listen to it. I love video game music. I love music in general, and I would love to hear what you guys have below. Anyways, uh, other than that, please be patient and stay tuned right now. I'm working really hard because I need to get another job kicking right now and moving our life forward. I'm going to keep trying to do videos. I'll try to stream as soon as I can. Just give me some time. And I am currently rolling the ball on getting a 500 special. I don't care if it's at 600 when I'm done. I will have a 500 special. As always, I want to thank every single one of you guys who have been supportive of the channel and been on it. It's a small little channel I'm not trying to make money on now or really ever. I just want to share my love of games and music and uh, other things. Um, just so you know, I'm going to be expanding it a bit uh, other than just video games. So um, you're going to be seeing different lists and different things to do with music. Um, top 10 lists for movies and things that I love. Um, I decided, uh, so you know, it'll primarily be games, but I'm going to throw a lot more in there because it's my channel, our, our channel, and we could do whatever we want. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the next one. And as always...